Welcome back to How Much Power, episode one. So last episode, we talked about this battery, the Yeti 1000, a bit, randomly. Today, I want to talk about something I'm using it for. Uh, so the past few days, I've actually been powering my personal laptop with it, uh, which is a Razer Blade Stealth 13, late 2019 edition, um, with a GTX 1650, yeah. Um, so I've been powering that off the sun for the past few days. In the last video I mentioned I was powering my desk, but this time, the past few days I'm powering just the laptop because the desk adds additional load that I can't quite power indefinitely. So it seems like for the past two and a half days now, uh, I can power my personal laptop just about indefinitely off the sun. And today has been a little overcast, so it's been interesting to see how it fares even on not the best times. But then the clouds parted and my input has gone up to 65 watts at the moment. It was it hit 71 momentarily earlier, so that is the highest I've ever seen out of the solar panel. Uh, now, I did the other day go up on the roof and clean it, so that certainly helped, but even after cleaning it immediately I, on a very clear sunny day, I was only seeing uh, like 54 watts, then it went up maybe 4 watts. Um, so yeah, we're at 64 watts, 65, and that's just the input from the solar panel. Uh, right now I'm actually using 80 watts though, so it's almost covering all that load. I'm actually losing a little bit of stored energy, um, so I'm 32% falling. Uh, and that 80 watts is basically all running this really cool tiny gallium nitride uh, AC adapter that has two USB-C ports on it. Sorry, sorry Randy, no. Um, we could say hi to Randy, because that really comes grossing up. Yeah, why not? Come on down, Randall. Yeah. Yeah. He has no idea. Oh, can you go somewhere else? <laughs> Gonna have to move you. Yep, yep. Say bye, Randall. And maybe we'll line this up decently again. That's the new um, halftime show of how much power is when Randy comes to mess things up. I could use sunlight to make things brighter. I could use electrical lighting from the wall. As I said, mentioned last time, I'm lighting this using the power of this. So right now, the sun's power is lighting this light bulb that's illuminating everything, which is why it's a nice dim dark situation. I wanna to try to do as much as possible using just this, cause it's fun. Um, so yeah, right now I'm running this AC inverter that's running the two USB things. Uh, it's actually like a 90 watt inverter. When it's doing the split, each one can get like half that. Um, and so it's charging these two batteries here, um, which are awesome batteries uh, that are specifically strong enough with USB-C power delivery to be able to power my laptop, which is kind of finicky about what it takes. Um, so yeah, this is all like related to power my laptop. I'm trying to power it indefinitely, as I mentioned. Um, so this is actually the Yet, uh, the Goal Zero Sherpa 100 AC, um, which is a pretty great battery from the same brand as this thing. Uh, it's sort of the biggest portable battery that they, they sell. Um, so it has 100 watt hours of stored energy in it, um, and it's got an inverter on it that I forget the actual power wattage of, uh, but not huge, 150 watts maybe. Um, now, it also, though, has the same solar input channel that the, this battery has, um, so it can actually, this can be plugged into this directly. It also has USB-C, two of them, in and out, um, so right now it's charging over that USB-C connection. It's got two USB-A ports, and then it's got an AC inverter as well, which is great. Um, and then the sizing of it, as I said, is actually, it's like 99 watt hours. It's the, like, largest battery you can legally fly with and, like, pass through the TSA with. So that's pretty cool as far as the storage goes. But it's kind of big. Now this guy uh, is much simpler. It's got USB-C in and out and USB-A, and that's it. Um, but its storage is like 75 watt hours. So it's like three quarters of this, but it's in a package that is a third of the size. So you could fit like three of these in the same physical space. And this is three quarters of the capacity of this. So yeah, in the same physical size, you could get more than twice the energy because you're not wasting so much space with the inverter and other stuff that this is impacting as well. But this is ruggedized and it's got these stored cables on the side and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but 
I think I want to get a couple of these because they're also much, much cheaper. This is a Rav Power, uh, I guess I'll have to link it in the description. A Rav Power or something or other 60 watt. Uh, and this actually, the reason it's it's so great is it has 2170 cells. That's the Tesla cells that uh, are developed for Tesla's Model 3 and Y. Um, while this has 18650 cells, which are the older laptop cells that were used in the earlier Model SX. Um, yeah, so these are both charging right now, uh, and uh, my laptop's fully charged at the moment. It was charged off this earlier because I am losing energy right now because we're pulling more wattage out than we're... Uh, putting in from the sun, we're losing a bit, and thus is actually predicting that in eight and a half hours we'll be empty. But before those eight and a half hours are up, these will be full and they'll stop drawing that power and then it'll start filling this battery from the sun. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention on this battery, I can toggle through this menu as well, uh, it can show the watt hours out, so it can show the total energy out, and something I haven't started yet but I want to get in the habit of doing is resetting that in order to show you all how much energy is consumed over time by something. So in this case, if I had reset this before I started my laptop experiment, I could show in the past two days how much energy my laptop actually had pulled from this, which would be good to know, because that is part of trying to answer the question, how much power, or in that case, how much energy. We kind of have to answer both questions. Um, and that is the whole point. There's two factors when it comes to electricity. There's power and energy. And everyone needs to understand that for something to run, it needs power, but for it to run for any length of time, it needs energy. Um, and so like this thing can run just about anything for a second. It can't run it for all that long. Uh, I could run a microwave with it, which is great, but it can't run it for hours on end. Um, fortunately, you only need a microwave for five minutes. So while you need a strong thing to run a microwave, it doesn't actually consume that much energy in the end because of how little time it's actually run for. And so we'll show in a future video how much you actually use, and I'll use the reset function to demonstrate that. Um, so today I wanted to talk about these batteries and how I'm seemingly able to run my uh, laptop on this, and I was also just really impressed with how much solar input I was getting, so I wanted to record that. Um, and I want to kind of introduce these batteries as well because they'll likely, or especially this one, will be used in future videos to demonstrate uh, smaller scale things and sometimes to upconvert power because this can actually take USB-C power in um, and, <clears throat> and then it can run an inverter to run something like the charger for this thing and charge this as if it were plugged into the wall, uh, except actually being plugged into this, which allows me to get a USB-C connection powering this which you can't otherwise do on this battery. Although you can with the newer ones, of course. So I might one of those at some point too, if the channel really takes off. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will get fulfilled before too long. This is predicting two more hours and it's two in the afternoon. So it'll be four when this is filled and then this can start to fill itself and we'll probably be down a bit on the day. Although the sun is still up here till like 8 p.m. lately, which is pretty wild. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching How Much Power. Take some power to do things. Thanks. Bye.